Yo, fuck it is, man. It's big L's in this bitch, you heard me. You niggas mad or not? Nah. Real quick, bro. Let's talk about this sweep from daylight, man. I know a lot of you niggas ain't gonna cover it because it ain't battle rap related. And I'm gonna keep it a bang with you, bro. This is the kind of shit I live for. For real. And by that, I just mean I love talking about real shit. I love breaking this kind of shit down. I love dissecting this kind of talk, bro. Because you know, like, in the black community, like, shit like this is sensitive, bro. Like, this is, like, a sensitive subject. People don't like talking about God. People don't like talking about religion. People don't like talking about racial injustice. You feel me? People don't like talking about politics. It's just certain shit that niggas just don't want to talk about, right? It just, like, a nigga I tell you in a minute, like, bro, chill, bro. Like, I don't. Like, let's talk about something else. Like, and, like when it comes to shit like this. Anyway, let's get to the tweet, bro. So, and I'm going to paraphrase what he said. I don't know what he said word for word. But he said, um, if a KKK member dropped that address right now, I promise you one nigga will not slide. But, but let a nigga see somebody with a chain on post that Addy, that nigga be dead in the next 15 minutes. And when I read it, I was like, that shit is so, bro, that shit hit me right here, bro. That shit hit me right in my fucking soul. Cause, Cause it resonated with me because I believe it to be the truth. And that's sad, bro. That's 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 a real problem, bro. That's sad, bro. And the KKK have done some heinous shit to black people, bro. You feel me? Some of this shit you can't even regurgitate on camera. It's too gore. You feel me? It's too X-rated, bro. Like it's just too, I don't know. It's some shit, it's just certain shit you just can't speak of and a lot of the shit that they did to us in the past and i ain't even talking about hundreds of years ago we can go back like fucking 50 years ago like a lot of the shit that they did to us in the past just was fucked up bro I'm trying to think of the right word but y'all know what i'm trying to say but here's my point bro you gotta really go into the psychology behind that bro because i'm pretty i'm pretty sure even that tweet itself right a lot of niggas probably even better eyed that tweet. And if a KKK member did drop that address and was like fucking damn near asking one of you niggas for smoke, you niggas probably wouldn't better eye at that. You wouldn't care because you wouldn't feel invested in it. But that's why I say you got to go into the psychology behind this shit. You feel me? It just goes to show you how much hate we really got for our own people, bro. You feel me? We talking about an entire group. Essentially a race of people dropping that ad, making themselves available for you to get get back, pay back for what these people done. Right? For you to do something about the racist shit they say about us and all of the negative the negative things they have done to black people throughout our history in America. An entire group. You give a fuck about them. But one nigga. You can cover, you can cover something that one nigga got. You can be envious of one nigga and you want to take his life. Like, you got to think about the side. You know, niggas really got deep-seated hate for one another, bro. But it's more shit to it, though. I said it's more shit to it though. Which that's I meant to say it's more shit to it also though. But the, the other shit is like see we we have been it's not even that we've been taught. If anything, they have showed us that you can commit you can do something to a black man and commit the same crime against a person of another race. Preferably a white person because of this video. Specifically, you can do the, you can commit the same crime against a white person and you will not get the same time. They will punish you more. They will punish you more for what you did to that white person. So that's always in the back of people's brain. This is this is part of the reason why I believe a nigga uh, go, you know, rob some some you know Joe Smo 
2 o'clock in the morning, knowing the nigga probably in the same predicament as you, he on feet, he ain't got much, like, but you'll take your chances robbing him than going to the liquor store or the corner store or the carryout when you know they loaded, you know they got bread, you know they got money, but you ever take your chances with John Doe. You feel me? You ever take your chances with this, this nobody ass nigga because it's a black person and you feel more comfortable doing something wicked to him versus doing it to a white person. I'm telling you, bro, it's just, the psychology behind this shit is just bad, bro. Like, we're really fucked up mentally and I don't even think we really understand how fucked up we are mentally, bro. Like, for that is crazy, bro. <laughs> you a slide on a nigga you don't know because of a chain or some kind of ma 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 material value he got versus a group of people that probably killed millions of our people. Millions of our people. And they blatant with their racism. We don't fuck with niggas. We don't like you niggas. Y'all ain't shit but a bunch of monkeys. Y'all dumb as shit. Y'all three-fifths of a man. Like, niggas don't even be bothered by that. Niggas be more mad at... Yo, a nigga be more mad at a, at a, at a nigga calling him a bitch or a nigga stepping on his shoe by mistake than a KKK member calling you a nigga or, or saying you're a monkey. A nigga will really want to kill you for calling him out his name. The white man say some racist shit. You don't think about killing him, bro. You start thinking about the law and shit. Like, I ain't trying to go to jail for this dumbass white boy. Oh, no, I ain't going to let the nigga word affect me. It's just a word. Like, you start rationalizing with yourself. Like, it's, bro, I'm telling you, we fucked up, bro. <laughs> Yo, Daylight hit, bro, he hit it on the nose with that tweet, bro. You niggas are sad, bro. Niggas just gotta realize, ain't shit gangster about killing your own people. For real, I know that's all we know. It's propagated in the music. We see it in the movies. They damn near let us get away with it, if you will. Like, they put us in the situations and predicaments for it to come to fruition. So, like, but it's like, it's nothing gangster about that it's really just the most stupidest shit in the world like you're killing off your own people <laughs> nobody is going to give a fuck about you the way your own people are or the, or the way your own people are supposed to there's a reason why you know different races exist bro there's a reason why family is a thing you know, brothers, sisters, mothers, aunts, like all that shit exists for a reason, bro. That structure exists for a reason, bro. Niggas don't value it, though. <laughs> you mad enough.